god. Let's go, Laura. Wake up. What? What the hell? Get up. You have school in 15 minutes. Five more. I'm not hitting the snooze button again. Get up! Fine! Timmy, come on. Get up. Fuck you, Olivia. Fuck you. Get up. Oh my, you were literally like this freaking annoying right now. It's my hand built up high, I can't tell I'm too goddamn hungover. I have breakfast downstairs. Eggs are the cure to hangovers, Timmy. <sighs> if you don't want to wake up like this, don't drink with your father on a school night. Yeah, I get it. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your face? <laughs> Was that really that fucking funny? Hey, you know how cold Michigan in September is? Yeah, I know. Then don't put a hole in my damn window. Becky Valentine was in your room. You know you've been throwing up for the past two days. You okay? I'm fine. I think I just have some sort of stomach bug. Or a gag reflex or shit. Do you even- I've got a great gag reflex, thanks to my perfect teacher. Look what I could do with this banana. Laura! What the- what the fuck? Oh, Laura, that's fucking sick! <laughs> that's not funny. Look, you got spit all over the table. Clean it up. <sighs> Morning, Daddy. Daddy? Morning. Uh, oh, fuck. Hey, good morning, honey. Breakfast is right over there. Why don't you go make yourself a plate? I think we can hold off on shopping if you guys can grab some frozen chicken from the school kitchen before leaving school today. You know, Tom, you weren't here when I got home last night. I know. Traffic was a bitch. Yeah, that's not the part that concerned me. Olivia said you were working late. He was. My hardworking man. Do you have a job, Thomas? What? Of course, of course I have a, a, a job. What? Why wouldn't he have a job? He has a job, Timmy. No, Olivia, you don't get it! Tom spent the day selling cocaine with me! He wasn't... He wasn't at work! Tom? What the... Are we fucked? Are we officially, finally... Finally, I mean, fucked? Where's Harry? Don't change the subject. He's with Jordan. Who? The father. Jordan's the father? No, I don't... I hope so. The father I've had sex. What?! Three times! Just stop fighting! I... I have a job. I have one vacation day. And I can't get myself together. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that what you wanted your little sister to hear? Let's not forget this little faggot is selling cocaine. Fuck you. You're a faggot. Hold on, Timmy. Why are you selling that shit in the first place? To get out of here, Claire. To get the fuck out of here! Oh, grow up, you little shit. Hey, I'd stay with Maggie. But she shows no signs of giving a damn about any of us. Except for Thomas. Shut up. Well, Maggie herself is a plague, so... Maggie's fine. She's a cunt. Watch your mouth. Come on. What was that about defending Maggie? Look, I know you and Mom have kept in touch with her, but she hasn't tried to reach out to me or Timmy. She's just... She's Maggie. Hey, you'll get around to her eventually. We all do. I guess. No, I stand by what I said. She's a cunt. And you're an asshole. He won't listen. He's just like my grandfather. 
Kid would learn some stuff if he was sent to military school. You think the employees there can do their jobs? Can, can I get a moment of peace there? Or, or, or are they gonna put me in a room with a hole in the fucking window? To me, for the love of God, I'm sorry about the window! You know something? You fucking suck, son. Yeah? Well, at least I can keep myself together. Then why don't you take the money from your job and find somewhere else to live? No! <laughs> That's what I'm planning! Stop it! Both of you! Timmy, you don't need to- then fucking go! Jesus, Dad! Bye, assholes. Timmy! Timmy, no! Timmy... Timmy, please. Ungrateful shit. <sighs> Fuck. Hurry up, people. We don't have all day. Sure does bring back memories, right? Of Wanda? Of course. Wanda. Not the dearest of memories to hold. I'm sorry, who the heck are these people? I'm Bridget Peters. I am the one who assigned Herbert to anger management glasses. When I heard that Herbert was skipping work shifts to go work against the lumberjacks, I had to tag along. Make sure he doesn't go... unwell. And I'm Lola, dear mother of my sweet little baby girl Wanda. You're Wanda's mom? Mm-hmm. I have no clue what the hell a tree fetish means. But damn it, if that's what my baby girl fought for, I'm gonna finish it. So you're avenging her? That's right, sweet face. Me and Lola met at Wanda's cremation. After Herbie spent that time in those cold mountains, he came back and he found me. We spent weeks plotting and getting to know each other. And also had a lot of sex. Ugh, I did not need to hear that. Dear Lord, jealousy is a horrible thing. Uh, I don't think jealousy is the precise word. Let's get moving, babe. Okay? Okay. Would you let go of that goddamn urn? Would you stop being such a child? No one asked you to come. I'm serious, Camilla. These people are... are weirdos. We should head home. <sighs> and where's home, Wesley? Last time I checked... Oh, come on! Would you let that go? You broke the... Your rules suck! Chris agrees with what I did. What? <laughs> no, Chris thinks you're a lying asshole. Uh, I'm, I'm staying out of this. He's only saying that so you don't kick him to the curb as well. Would you kids hurry up? For Pete's sake. We need to find a good place to set up camp and get these Brussels sprouts cooking. Brussels sprouts? Timmy, glad you made it. I was beginning to think you were planning on skipping. No. No, I'm good. Alright, then it's time to introduce you to the combat team. You know Flass? What's up, Lil T? He'll be operating the objective. And who are these guys? These guys? 
What do you mean these guys? This is your team. This is Reagan. He's our oldest team member. Probably been selling coke before your daddy was born. I've been selling snow since I was 23 years of age. Yeah. Down here, we have Addison. Cody. It's Addy, asshole. They're cousins. We found- No one needs to hear life stories, Flass. Well, wait. What story is he telling? Open up your ears, lollygagger. He's talking about how- Don't call me lollygagger. You know I hate that. She calls me lollygagger. Oh, Jesus, does it irk me. Well, stop being slow, and you won't receive nicknames, you lollygagger. I told you not to call me lollygagger, you... you... fuck! New kid, please help me take down this menace of a human. You're on your own, dude. Fine. Ow! Stop! Who's that? Where? Up there. Oh, in that office over there? That's Dennis. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> Probably dropped too many times on his head as a kid. When he doesn't have to work, he just never leaves that room. Poor guy. You think he would spurt up if he just has a hug? Maybe some hot cocoa? Room probably smells like shit. Timmy. Yeah? Does your brother know you're doing this? Of course he doesn't. He doesn't? No. I don't know if I can- No! I need this money! <laughs> I want to help. Please? I, I have nowhere else to go. Okay. Fine. You do what Flash says. You can go. <sighs> Thanks. Whoa. Are they working on coke down there? <laughs> can I help? Where are we going, Mom? If the boys want to bitch and ruin the day, then you and your sister can go make a day of your own. So, a girl's day? Or a gal's day, as my old teacher would say? Does this mean I don't have to go to school? No, you don't have to go to school. So, what did you have in mind? I don't know. What do you girls want to do? Maybe you guys can help me get a job at the titty bar down the street. Oh... Um, what? Yeah, she could probably get you a job there with a fake ID. Really? Yeah. That's fan-fucking-tastic, bitch! No one's getting a job at- <laughs> Maybe we can. Maybe we can do some mini-golf. <sighs> Boring. Harry might have a little fun playing mini-golf. Jordan's probably had enough with all this babysitting anyway. Okay, so mini-golf it is then. Alright, if you're going to be assisting us, you're going to need to be actually helping. Don't act like Cody, running around here like the little rascal he is. We're here to get work done. It's no time for fun and games. Well, a little time for fun never killed anyone. A little time for fun, yes. I'm Buck. He's Clayton. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Timmy. Get a good look at me, Timmy. Cause one of these days I'll be anchoring for some local news network. Only if you get out of here. A man can dream, Buck. And my ambitions are nothing hard to strive for. Local news is all. You can call me the next Jeremy Pickersnatcher. Well, if you ever do make it out of here, you're taking me with you. I've been left behind before. Oh hush, the poor kid came to work. He's not here to listen to your sob stories. Alright. So anyway, tell me, what are your ambitions, kiddo? Please don't say you plan to stick in this industry. No, one of these days, <laughs> I'll be some kind of chef. A chef? Yeah. You guys ever heard of Francisco Martinez? Nope. Alright, so 
What do you cook, kid? I make hard spaghetti. Hard spaghetti? Yep. <laughs> Heck, maybe one of these days I can hatch some up for us. <laughs> All right. I'll be ready for it then. So is Logan ever considered some kind of marketing tactics? <laughs> what are you talking about now, kid? Like, I don't know. Maybe you could sell the coke in smaller amounts, and you could call it... Uh, you could call it... Something like... Coke nuggets. Sell them at Walgreens. Coke nuggets? That sounds dumb. Well, hold on now. I don't know. I think I'd buy a thing of coca nuggets, and I don't even use the crap. Still sounds dumb. Sounds like we're running a Play-Doh factory. Yeah, whatever, Buck. This kid here's a clever one. Either of you ever tried making Santa beards out of this? Why? When you can just grow your real beard into a Santa beard. I can't grow facial hair. Ah, oh, don't feel bad about it, kid. Buck? Over here can't even grow pubic hair. Pardon me? Yeah, you heard me. Yeah. Well, at least I can keep a wife. <laughs> you might have to move, kid. Cause those were some fighting words. I haven't even told you the best part yet. She left him for another woman. <laughs> oh, fuck. She did. She did do that. But I can admit it. Our boy Clayton over here turned her off men completely. Is she hot? Why would it matter if she's into girls? Well, if she's a hot lesbian. <laughs> what can you say? Kids got taste. What's your definition of hot? You know Morgan Williams? No. She's hot. Well, Mildred's not. Picture a female rendition of Clayton. Oh. So she looks like E.T. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> what the heck, Buck? <laughs> hey, that's him, not me. <laughs> when, when she's got herself wrapped up in a blanket, do you want to put her in the basket of a bike and see if she'll make you fly? Not cool, kid. <laughs> but yeah, picture it I can. As you said, clever kid. I just thought you were cool. That's all. I am cool. I'm fucking cool. Look, I'm gonna snort this. Now, hold on a damn second. No. <laughs> do it. Stop. Don't do it, kid. <coughs> I don't know if that... Tastes delicious, Herbert! Thank you, Lola. Would you like some Brussels sprouts, boy? No, no. I pack sandwiches. Are there meat on those sandwiches? Oh, no. Yeah, turkey and ham and... Ow! What the hell? Ready, Lola? Meat, meat is, is murder. murder. Meat is oh, murder. Meat is 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 murder. Ew, that wasn't synced at all. How would you feel if I kept you locked up, abused, and then murdered for dinner? Hmm? I'm sorry, I. Just eat some of their Brussels sprouts. No! It's time we call a vote. A vote? Should this piece of fucking horseshit be expelled from our circle? Mr. Jackson, this is ridiculous. We're in the middle of nowhere. You could get lost. Agreed. I vote to let him starve. What is wrong Me with Me and you? Lola vote yay. We know how Chris and Bridget stand. Miss Camilla. You have the deciding vote. It's a democracy, y'all. Camilla, you can't do this. He has to stay with Herbert. He's the only one who could track his way back out of these woods. I know that. Are you really debating this? 
Wesley, you left me to find my way to shelter on my own. I'm sorry about that, Camilla. Camilla, he'll die out there. Camilla. <sighs> you're lucky you're my brother. Wes travels with us. God damn it. And they call us hippies. <laughs> well, get your gear. Come on if you're coming. Alright, I'll go place this up. Now, don't go misplacing the product this time. Hey, Buck? I didn't... <sighs> Just make sure the kid doesn't screw up anything. <laughs> screw up anything? He's done better than you've done all day. Whatever, you boring old prick. Do you guys, like, hate each other? What are you talking about? Hate each other? I don't know, we're both just constantly insulting each other. Come on, you kidding? You never go around just joshing with your friends? No, we don't... <laughs> we don't hate each other. No matter how much of a pain in the ass he may be, kid, Buck's my best friend nowadays, believe it or not. Hell, I'd even consider the son of a bitch family. Ah, oh, friends just tend to get under your skin. It's all just harmless shits and giggles, kid. Here, try it with someone you know. Well, Mr. Clark is always watching these chick flicks. Alright, good to know. Look, try ripping on a friend this time, huh? How about one your own age? I don't... I... I... <sighs> okay. Uh, do me. Let's see what you got. Your ex-wife looks like E.T. Okay... Did I do good? Sure, kid. Alright, now. Let's get this place cleaned up. I don't know about you, but I'm beat. Alright. Reagan, what in the hell are you doing? <coughs> Reagan. The hell you are. What part of prep for the run don't you get? I always read the Sunday paper on a Tuesday to put some time between the news and the current date. Knocks off the anxiety. You know this. I've never heard an old person complain about anxiety. Well, now you have. Reagan. I'm gonna get the boss. No, you won't. I will. Get the hell up. Boy, I'm about 10 seconds away from shoving this cane up your ass. Hey, Cody, you doing okay? I can get somebody else to get this done. I'm fine, Mr. Logan. You told me to sweep, and that's what I'm doing. No, Cody. When I said that, I meant sweep all of the drugs needed for this operation. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't just stand. Mr. Logan, I'm a bit dumbfounded. About what? Well, like, where did you get the drugs from? Ugh! Fucking cheap piece of shit! Something wrong? Yeah! There is. Every other dumbass here is too stupid to know their right from their left. So I gotta get this shit van running within the next 15 minutes. And it's not fucking running! Jesus, you're not gonna get it working that way. <laughs> yeah? Well, I've tried the right way more than enough. Why don't you go make yourself useful and go get dipshit out of his room? Who? Dennis? Yep. Fun. Hey, Dennis. We gotta get ready to head out. Who are you? I'm... It's Timmy. Hmm... Timmy. Yeah. What brings you on this journey, Timmy? To get you to come downstairs. Yes, yes, of course, but what brings you here? What? 
I pity. You have the creativity of Regan. Who hurt you? God? Buddha? What are you talking about? Ugh, I'll be down as soon as the water's finished boiling for my tea kettle. Okay. Is he coming? Yeah, I think so. Good, good. What's wrong with him? We don't know. Pass me that wrench. He... We found him on his path to escaping the feds. Seemed right to take him in, you know? We think he might be... Schizo. He... He has to be something. What? <laughs> Nothing. Take these. Let's see if we got her running. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I didn't catch your name, by the way. It's Timmy. Timmy Abrams. Okay. Well, turn the keys, Timmy Abrams. Yeah! That did it? It's good, kid. Alright, cool. Sir? Thomas. Damn. I nearly thought you'd never be back. Yeah. Three days seems like a lifetime, sir. Don't be a smart ass. Who's the woman sitting at my desk? Oh, that? You don't mind if I... Actually... I don't really care. <sighs> anyway, that woman out there is my wife. She's not a replacement, is she? No. Even though she's like a thousand times more productive than you. I'd prefer to have an employee that didn't flip me the bird every time I looked out the blinds. Trouble at home, sir? I looked at, and I told her, she can either get a job, or fuck me. But she's not just going to have access to the bank account on the go. Well, I mean, if I had access to your bank account, I'd fuck you, sir. Well, I'd say that's pretty fucking gay. Yeah, sounded a lot funnier in my head. Look at my wife, Thomas. There's nothing I'd love more than to fire her right now. Well, you can have your wish, sir, because I'm ready to head back to work. Not quite yet, Thomas. You see... My boss, Lynn McComiskey, showed up on Friday to stick her plastic nose in this officer's business. I figure someone young and hip like yourself. Sir, I'm 35. I'm not young anymore. Get rid of her, or you're fired. Okay. So, I've been going through her Facebook page. What I found is she seems to be fascinated with role-playing. Role-playing? Dress up. Being committed to playing a character. Shit like that. I'll get rid of her, sir. Then get on it. And Thomas. Try growing some balls and stop calling me sir. Sorry, Eddie. That's Mr. Waiter to you, you dumbass. You know, with all due respect, sir, my name's Tom. I've always gone by Tom. I can't remember the last time I asked someone to call me by my birth name. Though I guess I should be giving you the benefit of the doubt, because you need to reflect some of the mass 
elsewhere, considering your ass is so massive. Your chair is literally ten seconds away from collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of my office before I terminate your position. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! First try! You two need to step up your game. Didn't realize I was playing against the world's biggest mini-golf player. This place has been around ever since your father and I got engaged. The first time. So, right before I was born. Shut up and pick up a club. You still have time to catch up. If you say so. Where's Laura? I don't... I just saw her! Laura! Laura? Laura! Loran Nickel Abrams, get the hell back here! Laura? <sighs> Did you call me? Laura, what are you doing in there? You know, golf is pretty shit. But I would go for a swim instead. Get out of there! You're gonna get us kicked out of this place. <sighs> God damn it. Come on, guys. Let's just have a nice, peaceful day of mini golf. So, Chair, when were you gonna tell us that you were pregnant? What? You can't be fucking stupid. You complain about cramps and bobbing and your guts out in the morning. Is that true, Claire? I... I was waiting for my period to come to conclusions. Baby, you're gonna be a mama bear of two! Yeah... There's just one problem. What is it? I haven't slept with Jordan. Oh. <laughs> so, Chris. Chris Abrams. Is that always your last name? I swear. I remember it being something else. No, it's always been Abrams. You sure? I'm pretty darn sure I know what my name is. You were probably high. Like all the time, which would explain it. Dude. I'm high right now. Christopher, you knew my Wanda before she passed? What was she like? Wanda. She was something. Ah, uh, something special. Sure. Me and Chris used to protect the trees with Wanda down in Detroit. Wanda was quite enthused about those trees. You made her last days special. Less talking, more moving, people. Wait, what did you do? My friend Logan, we planted trees in Wanda's house to make up for the ones cut down at the park. My poor Wanda. Always wanting to do more for those trees. That's why we'll honor her from letting these trees be cut down. Wanda would be so proud of you, Herbert. You see what I mean when I said these people were a bunch of wackos? Yeah, I can definitely see it. I've seen it from the beginning. They tried to abandon me in the woods for eating meat. Meat is murder, man. <laughs> <sighs> Hurry the fuck up, you three! Hmm. I don't care what you say. Best fries anyone's ever tasted in this box right here. No, no way, man. When we were kids, we'd drive like 40 miles to go to my sister's favorite restaurant for her birthday. We'd do that every year. Hell, we'd go twice a year if my birthday wasn't so close to hers. But I settled for a home-cooked meal. 
kept the wallet less limb. Maggie couldn't fill the hole Olivia left, so why go? Maybe it wasn't good. Maybe, maybe the food was shit. But the whole family was there. They were there. We were together. Is your sister hot? Shut up, Cody. <clears throat> you want to stop? I want my food. Reagan, we asked you what you wanted, and you said you didn't want anything, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, at two o'clock, that's when I become hungry. Now drive on back and order my steak and cheese sub. Light on the green peppers. Fine. Fuck you, assholes. I'm going in the back. Reagan. Fuck you. I'm taking a nap. God, a bunch of children. <clears throat> Three times your age, bitch. Act like it then. So, why are you here, Timmy? Same reason you are, Flass. We were asked to. <laughs> You're not running from something? Nope. Well, I need the money. Fast money. You don't just put your life on the line because of an everyday thing. Everyone's trying to get the hell out of somewhere. Dennis, I'm assuming his family had become some overburden. Maybe he just wandered out through the street one day. Guess we won't know. Addison, she finally got her cousin and ran. And from what I've seen on his back, I got a pretty decent clue as to why she did. I don't think I have to be running from anything. <laughs> My past, yeah. I wasn't the type to have friends, and when I did, it wasn't for long. I, I was golfic. <laughs> now that I think about that, though, I wasn't even that. I was... An agitated introvert. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. An introvert with a label. I hope that answers your question, but me? I don't think anyone has to be running. Personally, I think I'm moving forward. I'm putting my life on the line to get money. Money that I can use to find my path. You know? I feel you. Come on. I'm sure everyone could use some air. And personally, I'm getting sick of hearing Cody slurp on his shake. Hey. Wait. Outside? What the heck will we do for like the next 30 minutes? I don't know, Timmy. What do you do at an abandoned horse racetrack? <sighs> no! What are you doing? Addison, no! 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 Stop! <laughs> hey, new kid. I'll race ya! Around the track. You're on. Hey, Dennis. Place your bets. Who's gonna win? Flash, you're fucking insane. What? Did I mention I freaking hate heights? Don't be a pussy, it's not that far. If you don't know parkour, how are you ever going to keep the job? Holy shit! <sighs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> I am never doing that again. You almost died! SHUT UP! Uh, Flass, where are you heading? This isn't right. I don't... This guy isn't... Who the hell are you? I could ask you the same question. We asked first. <laughs> It's... Mitch. Wonderful moment for me to be walking off. Away from my people, right? So, 
That dumbass plotted to collect his... Thanks for helping me out there. The same time he planted to collect his oxy. Why the hostility? We've seen your face. As I seen yours. But might I ask if you will forget mine? I'm really good at remembering faces. Is that a threat, boy? Stop! He's autistic. He can't help it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You're Abrams, boy. Yeah. Tom Abrams. You know Thomas? You know, you look just like that decaying mother f <laughs> You... You sold him drugs. I never stopped. No! No! You're lying! Can't say that I am. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shit! <laughs> oh, look at you. All grown up. Drop it, Timmy. But he... Shit. What are you going to do with that kid? I'll show you what I'll do, you fucking rusky piece of shit. I'll kill you. Please, don't do this. I'm begging you. <laughs> Look at this kid. I will. Just drop it, Tim. Stop selling to my father. Please. Your father's weak. Easy money. Sorry. But no can do- Holy fuck. Addison! I'm on it! Fuck. 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 Fuck! Fuck you! Fucking commie asshole! Fuck. 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 <sighs> He's good. He's that good. He, he's that fucking good. How is he? Fucking hell. Bloody disgrace. Fuck. The bullet grazed him. He'll live. Blast. You asked me what I was running from. Here's your answer. Timmy, we need to get to the car now. Everyone, we need to roll out. His people will be here. If we bail without the money, Logan. I know what Logan will- Shit. I... Uh, I am running. I've been running. I, I'm running from home. Hey, Timmy, we need to go now. Come on, please. Actually, I was kicked out. Does that still count as running? Because there's a whole bunch to run from. <laughs> Thomas, he's that good. He's that good at... Fuck. He's an active user. What the fuck else is he on? Meth? Cocaine? Heroin? Timmy! Olivia is so fucked. She'll never be able to look at Which. which sucks. Cause I wish she'd just ignore it, girl, and fuck off. But now Chris is gone. Cause he's so much smarter and so much better than the rest of us. And I, I don't. Come on, man, we don't have time for this. You can settle this later. Yeah, I, I'm running. I, I am. I'm 
running from my fucked up family. And I shot that guy. I shot that guy and he's dead. I, I shot, I shot, I shot, I shot that guy and he's, he's, he's dead. I shot him, I shot him with this. Timmy, he's not dead. The bullet grazed him. <laughs> Sir, thank God you called. I'm starting to get a real weird Mr. vibe. Mr. Abrams, where are you? She's having me sit on a sofa at her apartment while she gets ready. Thomas, I'm going to need you to listen carefully. It seems I made a mistake. What mistake did you make? Sadly, I've mistaken the word roleplay with a word containing a similar definition. What word? Foreplay. What? Tom, I'm gonna need you to bail. Just fucking bail. Will I be able to keep my job if I don't get her to stop coming to the office? No. Son of a bitch. Come on in, cowboy. So, what exactly is the plan, Mr. Jackson? I'll tell you the plan, Christopher. Past this tree line, these lumberjacks have a shop set up. Well, they've got a whole building to rest in. They cut down trees to have a place closer to cut down more trees. Sometimes, you have to take out some of your own for the greater good. What? Are you talking about killing these people? Of course not. Our own are the trees. We're going to cut them down so they crash down onto their precious building. You know that's hella illegal, right? If you're our friend, you'll call it a natural disaster and not report it in. Oh, I am not your friend. I just came to keep you idiots out of jail, and this, this is why I came. I don't care what you have to say, Bridget. We're doing this. Lola, go get the axes. Yes, sir. I don't think this is a bluff. Like, I think these guys are literally insane enough to rain trees down on a logging camp. Wait, stop, stop. What is it, Miss Camilla? These people aren't the enemy. No, they are literally the enemy. Camilla's right, Lola. These people aren't how you stop the cutting down of trees. It's a fine start of sending the message. If you want to stop this, you can do it with our governor. These people, they're just trying to pay to have food on the table for the families. You three really don't want to save the trees? Want to keep everyone safe, Herbert? Yes, that includes keeping the trees around for oxygen. But if it's going to put these lumberjacks in danger... Guys, please. <sighs> Lola, put down the axes. No. Lola, put down the axes. No! They killed my Wanda! Go! Back home, you fucking pussies! Lola... What?! You are being a bitch. Dang! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. No. I'm being a hero. No, you're being a bitch. Come on. We can head back to the tents and we can... <laughs> oh, oh, daddy. <laughs> oh, gross. That's fucking sick. Come on, people. We're heading back to camp. But Chris, we will be protesting to our government. What happens to those people because of that, that's their problem. 
Thank you, Herbert. Will you be joining us? I don't. We... we... Fuck no. We don't want to see you freaks again. Yeah, what the lady said. Come on. Let's get back to those tents, Chris. Wesley? (sighs) Take care, Herbert. Wait, are we not wrecking this place? I wasn't paying attention. Is anyone following us? For the 15th time, no! I'm just trying to be sure that we're safe, Addy. I don't see why we'd be in danger. Timmy totally shot someone. He's insane. More insane than Dennis, I'd say. I'm not insane. Shut up! All of you! That asshole was asking for it! So... About that... I fucked up. You did. You did. You got lucky. You only grazed him. That guy deserved to die. What he's doing to people? Being a drug dealer, somehow, it's just... It's expected that you are just some asshole who can break all the rules. It's expected, but... I see that officer's face. Every time I close my eyes, I see his face. I like to think, maybe no one likes him. Maybe he's one of those bad cops you hear about on the news. But I don't get to think like that. I don't deserve it. So I won't. I think about him having a family. His wife growing old. Alone. He's not telling his son about how to talk to girls. He's not walking his little girl down the aisle for her wedding. I think about that. So the next time I need to take someone's life, I hesitate. Even if it's just for a second. I... I'm sorry, Flass. You're a good kid, Timmy. Don't spend your whole life living with a burden. I won't. I promise. I won't. So, you still think your friends are better? Because right now, they're literal vomit. Hello, cowboy. What? What are you, uh, role-playing as? I'm Velma Dinkley from Mystery Incorporated. And I have a mystery only a cowboy from the Wild West can solve. What's that? I'm sorry, who are you? What seems to be the problem, ma'am? It seems I've misplaced my glasses. I need a strong cowboy to stick his fingers in and collect them for me. Ugh. I don't know how far they went, cowboy. So just go as far as you can reach. Mmm. I'll try using both hands. No, no. No, this isn't working. I'll try using your tongue. Yeah! Like Scooby used to, before he died and got stuffed. The fuck? (coughs) What? Do you even clean it? Clean it? What? (laughs) What's the point of cleaning it if no one's going to touch it? Not with Daphne. Everyone wants that bitch Daphne. Fred, Shaggy, they only want Daphne! All they want is Daphne! Hey, calm down. Well, fuck you, Daphne, you bitch! (laughs) 
God, what is taking her so long? It shouldn't take anyone this long to go to the bathroom. Ugh. You want to talk about it? What? Laura's vaginal infection that's taking up my whole day so she can pee? Your symptoms? <sighs> I fucked up, Mom. I was out with Bella and... I guess it's because my life has been boring. And that shouldn't be what any mother would think, but spending two years with nothing to do but raising a baby is... <laughs> pretty fucking boring. At least you finished high school before you had kids. I was 14, 13 when I became pregnant. I was a whore in the eyes of everyone at school. Just an everyday thing at the neighborhood. Mama and Poppy wanted to help, but we declined. Your father and I wanted the full experience, but it was hard. So damn hard. Boring isn't the worst thing, Claire. I guess not. So, there was this guy. I can't even remember his name, but after I slept with him, the symptoms, that's when they started. What are you whores looking at? You said you were going to the bathroom. And I did. You know, Grandma, it shouldn't take anyone this long to pee. I didn't say I wasn't going shopping. Don't look at me like that. I needed snacks. And Claire, I got this for you. Is that a pregnancy test? It is. Who the hell waits to see if they have a period? And if it says you're pregnant, we can head right over to the clinic and get that little guy taken care of. Laura, for the last time, I don't believe in abortion. You're such a poser. Are you gonna test anytime soon? I'll think about it. I want to know the answer as soon as you have it. Lynn? It's Velma! Lynn, this isn't about a cartoon character from the 70s. What's on your mind? Lynn, I'm sure they don't hate you. Yes, they do! Lynn, I've known so many people who have hated my ex-wife, and she has always gone in. And she, oh, she has fought. Fought to keep her name out of their mouths. And many would never dare to talk crap about her again. Lynn, I want you to march into headquarters tomorrow, and you tell them that you... You're one hell of a force to be reckoned with. You really think so? Yes, Lynn. I think so. Thank you, cowboy. Hey, Timmy. Care to talk? Yeah, sure. Earlier, you asked me while I was up with Dennis. Do you think something's wrong with him? Hard to say. You said schizo? I don't... I'm not sure. But finding him help is never the wrong answer, Addy. We will. We'll find him help. Hell, he's been helping out Cody for so long. Cause all Cody needed was a friend. So, Timmy Abrams, considering you threw out your life story there, I guess I should tell you why we're here, huh? Every time Cody embarrassed my aunt or uncle in public, I'd always find whip marks on his back. They were punching him for something he couldn't control. That's horrible. Me and Cody became a team. Found this place, became a bigger team. What I'm saying is, after all this shit from home, Cody's here. He's happy. He can be whoever the fuck he's gonna be. And whoever Dennis is, 
He's been a damn good friend of my cousin. We're a family here. We can be your family if things don't work out at home. Yeah, I don't think Logan would ever. You don't have to work. Just be here. I'll think about it. Okay, we need to work on your dealer name. But until then... Later, Timmy. Bye, Addy. Can't believe I just threw all my emotions at you back there. Let's never do that again, okay? Yeah, agreed. You're a cool kid, Timmy. You shouldn't be wasting your life in this... mess. <sighs> Tell me the amount of money you need for your... your thing, and I'll match it. Wait, really? Yeah. Hey, uh, Flass. Here's the money for Logan. What money? I didn't hear anything about it. Ah, you know. It's the money to pay off those crazy-ass meth head brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Hey. It's good to see you, kid. You know, Buck and I are still down for spaghetti day whenever you are. Cool, yeah. Let's make a whole spiel about it. We can invite the whole Candyman squad. Shit, I don't have time to run all the way. I was just about to see Logan about today. I can hand it over for you. Maybe make up for some tension I caused today. Would you? You'd be a lifesaver. I'd even throw in an extra hundred dollars for you. It's fucking money. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. Don't lose that shit, man. That's ten thousand dollars. I won't. You can count on me. Thomas, where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for half an hour. <clears throat> you fucked her. No, I... <sighs> okay. Yeah, something like that. I'm sorry. I bet she was all rotten down there, too. Looking like a... Like an Arby's roast beef sandwich. Yeah. Hell, that actually sounds pretty damn good at the moment. Rotten vagina? I was gonna say Arby's. But damn, I could never turn down some sloppy I get it. put. Not rotted, by the way. Making that clear. Fresh and moist, all the way. Ling should be out of your hair from now on. Good. So can I get my job back? Head back to the office. I want to discuss that a bit more in detail. And collect some holy water from the cathedral. Gale's still on call. We can arrange a sponge bath to wash out those sins. Sir, I'm an atheist. Declining a sponge bath from Gale? What are you, a pansy? No. No, sir, I'm just- She's got a nice set of titties, actually. You should motorboat those titties while she's giving you that sponge bath. I'm married, sir. As am I. Doesn't mean I can't smack her ass around with a magazine like she's the President of the United States. Sir, I have enough problems as is. <laughs> what are you afraid of? She'll turn you down, Abrams. She's a secretary. Those bitches give it out without even wanting it. That's very alarming, hearing you say that, sir. Yeah? What? The saying? More for me. And this atheist thing you've been talking about. After finding yourself lodged in the depths of hell? Yeah, right. I'll be expecting you and the family at service on Sunday, Thomas. God damn it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Herbert. Yes. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. I've lived in a frat house 
for two years. Not once have I had an experience like this. Not once! I'ma go. Yeah, I'ma go take a piss. Hopefully not bash my head in in the process. Make sure to pee on one of their trees. Ooh, and if you see a bear, make sure to lure it over here so it ends both our suffering. <laughs> on it! For the love of God, stop fucking each other and go to sleep! Jesus, that was fast. Did you get that bear triggered yet? What bear? Oh, it's you. I guess I wanted to apologize. Apologize? For what? Okay. Okay. Okay! Oh! I swear to God, I will walk until I find a store that sells shotguns and I'll buy one and blow your fucking heads off. I just... I just thought I was protecting you. Wes, I'm not that little girl anymore. I know that. I'm not that stupid girl. I'm not engaged to two men at once and I never will be again. I've matured, and I want the respect of you acknowledging it. I do. I will. That, I promise. I forgive you, Wes. I have. I wasn't gonna let you be stranded in the middle of nowhere. That... that was just tension. I wasn't just keeping you protected. I was protecting myself. From what? I'm back. Couldn't... Is this a family reunion? Yeah. Where's the bear? Is it following you? Someone is. Who? This one. Okay. Let's just get everything out in the open. One of us is going to have to kill those two freaks. Whoever does it, I'll pick up your case and keep you protected by any punishment of law. Well, where the heck have you been? Working. Well, technically working. You're back at work? Yeah. Boss said I did so good, I'm getting double my next paycheck. That's fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Is Timmy home? No. <sighs> Damn it. Olivia, there's something I need to tell you. But I don't... I've screwed up as a father, and I can't do the same as a husband. At the wedding, I... <sighs> I spent 12 minutes throwing up before it, and I took it out on you. It made you... not yourself. I'm sorry for that. Really? You're an idiot. Come on, love. Let's go upstairs. Maybe a shower for two can help take the edge off of my working man. Yeah. It's open! It's open! Hey. Hey. I missed you today. I had mom head to the hardware store, had a piece of wood cut up to cover the window I smashed. Figured we could have it set up tomorrow, maybe. What? Uh, this is my goodbye. Oh. How long? Hmm? How long is this goodbye? It's goodbye for now. I was hoping the kid would be here. I'm gonna see him tomorrow. You know, I don't hate Tom. I don't hate Olivia. Or even Laura. But 
I was just gonna go. I just wanted to leave. But I wanted to say goodbye to you. You're different, Claire. Unlike every one of the fucked up Abrams, you actually have everything figured out. Not even Chris knows what he's doing. I don't have everything figured out. You do. I know you do. So, I got a bit over $3,000. With that, I can use it to get my ticket thing. That's great. I'm not done. I have 10000 more. Where did you get this? From work. I want you to have three-fourths of that ten. That's seventy-five hundred because, Claire, I know you're the one that keep things running around here. Thank you. I will. You won't have to worry about us. And I don't want you to feel like I'm running. I'm not. I wouldn't. I just... I'm figuring out who I am. Where my place is. I know. I'm gonna be the last of the kids to move out of the house. <laughs> and I'm three damn years older than Chris. That's insane! <laughs> you better start that hustle, or Laura's gonna be catching up to you. <laughs> if I don't beat her, I have a real problem. Is that a pregnancy test? That is... Yeah, it's a pregnancy test. Well, I hope it's positive. I do, I, I really do. Because you're a really good mom. <sighs> Alright. I gotta go. So... <sighs> Goodbye, Claire. Goodbye, Timmy.